Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome back. For some more King's Quest. King's Quest 6 we're going to play tonight. It is King's Quest 6. Here today. Here today, gone tomorrow. Uh, this one is from 1992. So... When was King's Quest 5? Let's just have a look. Need a look. King's Quest 5 was 1990, so this is a couple years after number 5. Uh, what have we got? Name of the sequel is a pun on the common phrase Here today, gone tomorrow. Here today, gone tomorrow. Hilarious. Um, this pun is related to the abrupt departure of Prince Alexander after the events of King's Quest 5, where he was just rescued by King Graham along with Princess Cosima. Who asked Alexander to come visit her at the end of that game. King's Quest 3 to air is human, also contained the words air in its title and also featured Prince Alexander. Yeah, it's a bit of continuity going on there. Um, yep, that's, that's a little breakdown for it there. Hold on a minute, what have we got here? Multiple endings. Significant aspect of King's Quest 6 story and gameplay is the option for the player to receive different endings. Interesting. I won't read any more into that, because we want this to be quite blind, but that's interesting to know that we could end up with a different ending. Hopefully we get a good one, but we will see. Um, Alright, I think we'll just get into it. Plan here. So let's go for the opening, so we can get a bit of backstory on what's what's the haps. Long ago, Long, oh, okay. in the castle of a kingdom, no need for me Devon to commentate Street. here. Game's got us covered. It's got a headache. Alexander, here you are. Oh, you're still not thinking about Cosima, are you? Mm -hmm. Cut it out. I suppose I am. Son, it's been months. You've got to pull yourself together. Pull After yourself all, you together, only man. That once. I know. Have you discovered anything about the land of the Green Isles? No. No one's even heard of it. What? It's like she's just vanished. I wish I could help. Please try to think about something else, dear. I'll try, Mother. Looks like her pants are on fire. Nope. It's just a. What's that? It's not a chalice. What would you call that? Some pretty cool cinematics going on there. Getting all 3D. All 3D up on the King's Quest. Oh my lord, it's the mirror. The mirror of Erised. Alexander, I feel so alone. I don't know what to do. Alexander, I wish you were here. Come to me, Alexander. Cosima! Wait! Mother! Alexander. Mother, come quick! Alexander, what on earth? You're white as a ghost. Mother, I He's saw not Kasima. white. <laughs> she was in what? the mirror. In the mirror? The magic mirror? Yes. And it showed me no, how the to normal find her. How? The stars. I saw the stars outside her window. I can navigate by the stars. Oh, Alexander. If you really go... Be all right, mother. I promise. Don't be afraid, mother. The stars will help us. It's a bird. It's a bird. Two birds. Very loud. Get it, there's birds. I'm gonna focus on these for a while, I guess. Admire their amazing CGI skills. Showing them off. Well, those are, these probably were pretty impressive at the time. Oh my god, it's a ship. So he's off to the Green Isles, which he said he didn't know anything about, so. That could be interesting. Three long months, Prince Alexander sailed the known seas and beyond. And 
then suddenly on the horizon he spotted nothing. Oh, an island. Land ho! Land ho! Land ho! Yeehaw! Oh, he's got pirates. This band of merry men. beautiful. It's a beautiful sunset. As the ship nears the shore, day turns to night and the sea turns violent. Oh no, sea, cut it out. Oh shit. They're all dead. It's the end of the game. King's Quest 6. Gone all out on the title screens in this game. It gets two title screens. We're gonna have the tagline? Come on. Gotta have the tagline. No? No tagline. Mustn't have been in the budget. Written and designed by Roberta Williams and Jane Jensen. Produced by Robert W. Lindsley and William D. Skirvum. There'll be a lot of names here to, to read. Let's not do that. How many names are there going to be? Is there going to be like full on credits before the game? Should just save that till the end, guys. All the games have these at the start, I don't remember. I feel like they kind of just went right into it. Although I suppose the other games are a little bit more limited than this one. King's Quest 5, I feel like it just went into the game. Alexander oh, awakens to find himself on an unfamiliar beach. For a moment, he is too dazed to remember how he got here. In a ship, which is now destroyed. Then he does remember. The shipwreck. The sea. Just as he had seen his men safely into the lifeboats, a gigantic wave picked him up and tossed him overboard into the churning sea. So our men might that still be the alive. That was he'd seen of his crew. Debris from the shipwreck is scattered along the shore, but of the lifeboats and his men, there is thankfully no trace. He can only hope and pray that the lifeboat survived the currents, and that his men made their way safely back to Devontree. Hopefully. But I'm sure we'll find out. Alright, what do we got? Pretty cool looking icons. We've got a walk, we got a poke, we've got an eyeball, and, and a speechy one. What is this? Nothing. Alexander is carrying nothing. <laughs> what? That was weird. Nothing. Cool, okay. Detail. Let's turn the detail down. I don't think my, my PC can handle this. I don't know if these sliders actually do anything, because in every single game I've played that have these, they don't seem to actually affect anything. I think they're all just a placebo effect. Alright, let's have a look around. Let's have a look at this rock. Rocks abound on this lush volcanic isle. Rocks abound indeed. Rocks abound. A long plank lies on the beach. No doubt it once belonged to Alexander's ship. I'll bet. What's that little red thing? Probably something we have to collect. Alexander's royal insignia ring lies abandoned on the sand. It must have slipped from his finger during the shipwreck. Fortunately, it was not lost in the sea. Very fortunate. Let's get it. Poke. Let's poke it. Alexander picks up his royal insignia ring from the beach. Sweet. Let's, let's wear it. Alexander is already wearing his ring. Oh. Okay. Fair enough. Alexander's ring is made of the purest gold and has the insignia of the royal family of Daventry on its face. Very nice. 
Um, guess there's not much else we can get here. Broken pieces of alloy. Probably can't take any of that. The sand is warm. The sand. Alexander has no need to carry around large rocks. You don't know that. You might. Can we go into the water? Actually, we might the die. The ocean is not as calm as it appears. Underwater currents tug oh, at crap. Alexander's legs. Quick, get out of there, man. That was a close one. That was a close one. Let's... Oh, God. I've got this bloody interface. Um. Okay, give me a sec. I'm going to just quickly... I'm going to quickly restart because that interface is annoying. Okay. Now we'll save it. What are we going to save it as? Shifty C's. I feel like the C will kill us if we walk in there. But we're going to find out the hard way. The ocean is... The underwater toe is amazingly strong here. It pulls ferociously at Alexander's legs. Ferociously. Before Alexander can retreat, the current grabs his legs. The shifting sand vanishes from beneath his feet. Oh, Against God. his best efforts, he is dragged out to sea. Oh, Alexander, come back. The you currents can't around the island pull Alexander under. As Alexander struggles to the surface for the third and last time, he finds himself wishing he'd paid more attention to the warning signs of an undertow. Wow, crap. Whoa, what the hell? What is this? Dickens. Skellymans. Next. Nothing like getting swept off your feet. Well, that was interesting. I wasn't expecting that. Okay, well, I guess we will not go on the water. It is dangerous. Strong ass currents. Okay, we'll go up to go up to the shore. Investigate in the bushes. I wonder if we need to turn the speed up a little bit. Looks like we've got a castle and possibly a village. Might turn up a little bit. Be like there. Alright, what are we gonna do? I think we should go to the village first, or the township, or whatever you want to call this, marketplace. Actually, let's have a look at this tree first. A grand old tree stretches its luxurious limbs out over the crossroads. It's very grand. There's like a little hole in it. Can we look in there? A hollow in the trunk of the old tree forms a perfect nesting place for wildlife. Or treasure. Probably treasure. Alexander examines the tree's hollow, but finds nothing of interest. Oh. Alexander is standing at a crossroad. Okay, let's go. Let's get out of here. Assumed there would be something in that tree hollow. It seems like it was set up for it, but I guess not. Okay, what do we got? We got the pawn shop. The sign says pawn shop. Pawn shoppy. They can't spell. Um, and what's this one? Something books? Arlie's. Old lamps for new. Whoa. Old lamps for new. Okay. Thanks, dude. The sign above the door says Ali's books. Prince Ali. Fabulous he. Could be. Well, let's go talk to Mr. Lamp. Mr. Lamp Old man. Lamps yeah, for I heard new. you the first time, buddy. Old lamps for new. I want to consider going to a dentist there. Good day, peddler. Good day, sir. If you would like to get one of my fine new lamps, I'll need an old lamp in trade. Isn't it a rather bad business? I was about to say that. Taking old lamps and giving new Doesn't lamps. Doesn't seem like you'd make change. a lot of money off that, dude. <laughs> There's always a chance that I'll find a genie. <laughs> if I had a genie, well, I'd be richer than a king. Besides, there's always a roaring business in antique luminaries hmm I suppose what is this thing at your feet it's color oh those are your oh those are your lamps the peddler's pool provides convenient transportation of the lamp seller's wares there are six new lamps on the pool on the pool okay so I guess we have to find a lamp somewhere there's a battered wicker chest in front of a shop let's open it the okay. battered chest does not interest Alexander it's probably full of plain earthenware. 
not plain earthenware. We're only interested in fancy earth earthenware. Hey, who was that? I saw someone. Windows face the street from living quarters above the bookstore. I saw you up there. Okay, well, we'll go to the pawn shop. My lord is the bear. Ah, oh, good day, sir. Good day, sir. Good day, merchant. Can you tell me what land this is? Where By am I? the moon's light, what a question! You must have been out too long in the sun, or perhaps knocked your head upon a rock. Uh, no. Well, perhaps. I was in a shipwreck, you see. My crew and I were trying to reach the land of the Green Isles. I think, well, at least I hope, my men got away safely in the lifeboats. But I myself appear to be rather stuck here. Ah, I see. You must pardon my incredulity, but it has been so long since we have had a foreign visitor. You wrecked your ship, young traveler, due to the currents and reefs around the islands. If your crew was wise enough to steer clear of the isles and head home, they should be fine. In a lifeboat? It's probably not going to happen, man. Your objective, however bumpy the journey. You mean, this is the land of the Green Isles? Oh, thank the heavens! We did it. I had followed the stars, you see, and, and I thought Go I us. was close, but... The stars? You must be quite a sailor. But what is the purpose of your visit? I come for... Well, I mean, I, I hope to see... I met some time ago. Say you don't no make more. any sense, man. You are smitten with a maiden, are you not? What other than love could so confuse a man's tongue? I am afraid so. It is Princess Cosima. By the desert sands, when you fall in love, you do not mess around, do you? Is she here? This is the Isle of the Crown, young man. The castle of the crown stands on the hill. If it is Cosima you seek, that is where to look. The castle okay. of the crown. Let's do it. Thank you, merchant. And good luck to you, lad. You shall need it. What if I want to ask you about your wares? We need to purchase a lamp. Good day, merchant. What can you tell me about the land of the Green Isles? I can tell you she is in a dark time. Dark Without the ferry, communication between the islands has ground to a halt, and so nearly has my business. Why the long ages of peace have ended, and why the Crown has not done something about it is beyond me. But then, I am a shopkeeper, not a politician, and can only hope for better days. Well, hopefully they come. Hopefully they come. Is this a lamp? The pawn shop's counter is made of a sturdy teak. The wood is well worn by eager hands and well oiled by the shop's faithful keeper. Very good, but I was not wanting to look at the desk. I was wanting to look at this bottle. The pawn shop. Alexander takes a closer look at the items on the counter. What do we got? What is this? Have you an interest in tinder boxes? This one is only slightly battered. It holds a good supply of flint, a sturdy striking pad, and even a candle in case you find yourself with naught else to hold the flame. Sounds good. Sus. Ah, yes, the painter's brush. It was well used by one of the island's best painters. There's a lot of creativity in that brush, and its bristles are still in good condition. Very good. What about this mass magnificent looking flute? The flute is only made of plain wood, but its notes are fine and true. Pretty magnificent looking to me, buddy. What the hell's that? Look like a duck. I see you have noticed my mechanical nightingale. She is made of plain tin, but she sings the sweetest song you can imagine. Barely distinguishable from the real thing. I want all of these things. May I have them? I'm interested in that mechanical nightingale on the counter. What do you desire to give me in trade? The items on the front counter are all of equally slight value. Worth only a copper or two. They are handy items nonetheless. Why does everyone in these games work on a trade system? Can't I use money? If Alexander wants anything from the pawn shop, he'll have to first give the pawn shop owner something in trade. Hmm. Okay, sorry. Can we touch the bear? The stuffed bear probably has stuffed fleas. Alexander decides to keep his distance. Not stuffed fleas. Those are the worst kind of fleas. Okay, well, we're going to have to come back here once we get some, some items. So, let's check out the bookstore. 
peruse the Hello. wheels. I will be right up. Take your time, sir. Now, what can I do for you? I want your fizz. Give me your fizz. There's a small table near the door that bears a sign. The sign has undergone a number of changes. It once read 10 pence, but that was crossed out and replaced with 5 pence, then 1 pence, then free. The sign currently reads, take one, please. What are they? Only one book remains on the table. Ah, it's a book. It looks like the bookshop owner really wants to get rid of that book. What is it? Probably Fifty Shades of Grey or something. Alexander picks up the book from the small table. Oh, yes, please take that book. You have my most humble thanks for doing so, good sir. Really? Thanks. What a kind gentleman. What is the book? Alexander is carrying a book from the bargain table in the bookshop. What's it got in it, though? That is the question. Let's have a read. Alexander opens He's a the fast bargain reader. book and reads a paragraph at random. Mm, Two okay. dulcimers raised to the degree of 40 half dulcimers divided into equal parts by the third of a cackle of grouse geese put over the result of 10 fine mackles, albeit small fine mackles, stretched over the total of 53 and an eighth bottles of wild beast lard. What? Hmm. Uh, hell. Jesus, no wonder he wants to get rid of this book. What an incredibly boring book. No wonder the bookshop owner wanted to get rid of it so badly. That's what I said. What's this book? Looks like it's important. Alexander rests his feet for a moment. Alexander picks up and leaves idly through a book called The Changing Role of Court Entertainers Through the Ages. Yeah. Anything else? That's it. Well, that was refreshing. I'll bet it was. Okay, well, let's have a chat to this dude. What you're looking for there, sir? Harry Potter? Good day, sir. The mysterious Why does old everyone man say that? just ignores Alexander. Maybe he's that wizard from King's Quest V. He looks kind of like him. Although, I'm basing that solely off the fact he's in a black cloak. Good day, sir. Good day, sir. I'm a stranger in this land. What can you tell me about the land of the Green Isles? That is quite a question, young man. Who are you? And what would you have me tell you? My Everything. name is Alexander. I know I'm on the Isle of the Crown, but I'd like to know whatever you can tell me about this island, and if there are other islands nearby. You are indeed a stranger. Anxious is the man who knows not the customs of the land beneath his feet. This island is called the Isle of the Crown, because the royal family's castle is here. Makes sense. Besides the castle, we also have this village, and the docks over to the west. There are at least three other islands. The Isle of the Sacred Mountain, the Isle of the Beast, and the Isle of Wonder. At least Isle three. of Wonder. Does no one know for certain? <laughs> this is no ordinary land, Alexander. The land of the Green Isles has always been a place of vague boundaries, as if islands come and go. Legend speaks of a fourth island, an isle shrouded in mists. I myself have never seen it. Then, too, the land of the Green Isles is said to exist on the boundaries of this world and the next. Spooky. Even darker places are reputed to be closer here than anywhere else in the world. That's quite a claim. It is. <laughs> claim, yes, but probably just local superstition. We who live here on the Isle of the Crown, at least, sleep well enough at night. Those first three islands you mentioned, how might I learn more about them? Ideally, a young man seeking such knowledge would travel to their shores and learn about them firsthand. Meeting the leaders of each place would be helpful, naturally. Unfortunately, the ferry no longer runs between the islands. 
There has been much political unrest, and it has been too dangerous to travel for years. I knew it Perhaps couldn't be that the easy. Man can tell of you course. more. He has little enough to do these days, and if you haven't been there already, you might seek an audience at the castle. Thank you kindly, merchant, for all your good advice. Ah, but advice is free, Alexander. Making use of it costs much more. Mmm, wise words. Very wise words. The royal family's castle is built on the bones of the dead, hence the skeletons under the ocean. <laughs> Plan a revolt. They might be planning a revolt. Maybe that's where the mysterious fourth island is. Maybe it's full of skeletons. Alright, so, we know about some islands. Very good. I don't know why we'd need to go to the other islands. Because we need to find the princess who would apparently be on this island. But I'm sure we'll find out why we need to go to the other ones. Oh, who that? There's a young girl in the yard. The girl is dressed in a long, plain orange robe with a thick headdress. From the appearance of her clothes and from a skittish, fearful look about her, Alexander gets the strong impression that she is a servant, or even worse, a slave. The Alexander servant girl knows all about that. Be stealing a quiet moment tending the rose bushes. Let's have a chat. Alexander doesn't want to intrude oh, on what? private property unless he's been invited. I want to chat. Can we chat from here? Can we yell? The girl is too far away to hold a conversation with Alexander. I'm at. Oh, you lazy thing! Get back to work and stay away from those roses! I've told you a million times, those flowers are too sweet for the likes of you! You've That's still mean. got to do the breakfast dishes, make lunch, and clean the stables yet this morning! And get your veil back on! No one wants to look at your face! Ow. Yes, stepmother. The bitch. Okay. I'm gonna assume we're gonna have to rescue her or something. Seeing Alexander was once a slave himself. He knows the feels. Oh, this is gonna be one of these stupid screens that are really hard to bloody... Ugh. Okay. Whoa, who's that? Hey, stranger! Come join me! The water is wonderful! And I can show you the way to the next island! Oh, uh, yeah? Is it down there? Who are you, sir? The ocean currents continue to murmur, but they do not reply to Alexander. <laughs> I wasn't talking to the water. Come on, jump in! The hell? A little water won't hurt you. Hmm. I don't believe you because I literally just got killed by water and skeletons Good day. before. Good day. I'm Alexander. What are you doing in the sea? What does it look like I'm doing? I'm swimming. <laughs> I mean, come join me. The water's wonderful. I can show you the way to the next island. He's a merman. He could be. What are you for? I said I'd show you how to get to the next island, didn't I? I don't trust you. You're very, like, persistent on me getting in this water. Let's check it out. Let's do it. Gotta take some risks in life. Risks like trusting mermans. What? That's strange. The young boy in the water just disappeared. Oh well, perhaps he just dove under the water. Okay. Where'd he go? find out. Wait a minute. The it was a trap. The island pull it was Alexander a trap by the skeleton under. people. Damn skelly man. As Alexander struggles to the surface for the third and last time, he third finds himself wishing time. he'd paid more attention to the warning signs of an undertow. I didn't get any warnings, I just got some weird naked boy. Oh. You win again, skeletons. Dickens. Oh. You win this round. Next. Nothing like getting swept off your feet. Evil skeletons, you did nail it. You were onto it. I should have listened. Should have listened, but it was so tempting. He made the water sound so, like, inviting. That's strange. You get out of here, boy. The young boy in the you. water just disappeared. Oh well, perhaps he just dove under the water. I don't know. He's suspicious. Maybe he's why the fairy doesn't work. Maybe the reason the fairy's out of commission is because it's not in the water. Tends to help with fairies, I find. 
Those puns, yes, the puns are the best, the best in these games. A worn wooden vessel has been dry docked on a jetty. The boat is in sad shape. A hole in the hull and the condition of its boards make it obvious that the vessel is no longer seaworthy. Damn. Looks in pretty bad shape, I gotta say. We go inside. Hello? Yeah, what do you want? Um, I want a ferry ride. Alexander promises himself that he will not go home until he has determined what Cosima's feelings are for him, and if she needs his help. Oh, I wasn't talking to him. Where do you click to... Is it on the end of the little... Alexander... No. Go Where's... away, then! Oh, dude, I was trying to talk to you. Alexander feels his pockets carefully... No, what the... Alexander... How do I click the door? The what thumb? Would... What would Alexander... That boat is not... Alexander... Alex okay, we can't click the door anymore, apparently. I don't get these curses. I assume it's on the finger for this. There we go. I said the ferry's out of business. What do you want to keep bothering me for? I'm trying to talk to you, man, but I've got really bad icons. Alexander... Alex... The boat... Alexander... The boat does not reply. The rope is... Go oh, man, I can't even bloody talk to you. Stupid... Icon. I don't know where you're supposed to target with it. He was under. He was sucked under and drowning. Oh, yeah. Oh well. We'll just leave him to drown. Not a worry. Let's just go check out this old boat instead. I said the ferry's sorry, out I'm of back. business. What do you want to keep bothering me for? I'm trying to talk to you, but I can't. I'm sorry. Alexander. I'm having trouble me. speaking. There My name is Alexander. The owner of the bookshop in the village told me you might be able to help me. I hear you used to run this ferry for the islands. I'd like to talk to you if you have a moment. You say old Ali sent you? Old Ali. I can't see why. The ferry's not running, you know. I understand. See that. I'd just like to talk to you about the islands if you don't mind. Well, I guess it'd be all right if Ali sent you. Well, don't just stand there. Come on inside. Thanks, dude. Nice place you got here. What is you, you wanted to talk about, young man? I literally just told you. The islands. I'm a visitor to these islands. I'd like to learn what I can about the area. So you said outside. What is it you want to know? Why ask me that? Well, for the one hell? thing, why has the island's only ferry been dry docked? Huh. It just ain't safe to sail these days. What with the islands feuding and all. Wazir al Hazred ordered the ferry closed till things settled down. Me? I don't think she'll ever see water again. <sighs> Maybe said, why are the islands we'll feuding? You got me. Something about stolen property or some such thing. Tis a real shame. Things used to be so friendly. Then this unrest is recent. A few years is all, but it's been long enough. Perhaps if the ferry were repaired. This old thing? This ferry's been out of water so long she's no longer even seaworthy. Her boards have dry rot. She'd fall apart at the first taste of seawater. But there must be some way to get off this island. There's only one other way to travel that I know of. A magic map. Magic the owner map. of the pawn shop can tell you more about that than I can, Alexander. Okay, we'll have a chat to him. Murder mates. Murder mates could be the reason that people aren't sailing. Probably attacked the ferry. What is this? There's a rabbit's foot on the table. Oh, it good seems luck. the ferryman good luck. is counting on a little luck. I want it. It's mine. There's nothing of interest. What are you talking about? This is a rabbit foot. I see you have a rabbit's foot. Has it brought you much luck? As you can see, my luck's been out for some time now, despite that old charm. Why don't you take it with you? Yay. Perhaps giving the darn thing away will bring me good fortune at last. Perhaps it will at that. Thank you. Thank you, kind sir. Have a look. What the hell? Oh, that's a rabbit's foot. It's a weird looking rabbit's foot. The rabbit's foot has long, soft fur. Very nice. Can we wear it? The long fur of the rabbit's foot is soft to the touch. I want to wear it. Alexander rubs the soft fur of the rabbit's foot and hopes for a little luck. Get lucky. Well, good day, sir. I think I'll be going now. Thanks for allowing me into your home. Posh, not at all. Posh. It breaks the boredom, if you know what I mean. 
<sighs> cool, good to know. All right, well, we got his rabbit foot. Consider that a success. Save. Raboot, raboot foot, rabbit's foot. Awesome. This is mildly disturbing. <laughs> yeah, he's he's getting getting a little bit into that to rubbing of the foot. Cut that out, Alexander. Not appropriate. Okay, so I guess we'll go talk to the dude about the magic map. This is our plan right now. Good oh, day. Snake guy again. I feel like this is the guy from King's Quest V. A mysterious old man also patronizes the pawn shop. He steals sidelong glances at Alexander from under his hood. Don't patronize the shop, man. That's not cool. Good day, sir. The old man just glares at Alexander and does not reply. I said good day, sir. Fine. Be like that. Um, okay, let's ask about this magic map. Why were rabbit feet considered lucky? I mean, you're literally petting a piece of corpse. Yeah, I don't know why they were considered lucky, to be honest. Excuse I'm gonna have, me, I'm gonna have Merchant, to look into that. But the ferryman mentioned that you might have a magic map of the land of the Green Isles. Why, as a matter of fact, I do. I keep it under the counter. It's been gathering dust so long that I nearly forgot about it. But it sounds important. It was quite a few years ago, you see. The estate of a wealthy wizard fell into my hands when he died. It was useless magical junk mostly, which reminds me, I've still got some things of his in the back that I need to dump out. Anyway, Can I have it? The magic map was the one Give me true everything treasure you've got. in the lot. The wizard was quite old and feeble and had enchanted the map to aid in traveling. Hey, this is probably the that one map need from what's his name? Man and on an island depicted on the map to find oneself there. It is a very valuable map, as you can imagine. Unfortunately, no one is interested in traveling these days. It is far too dangerous with the current state of the kingdom. What would you take for the map? I would normally foot? want something magic in return. It's pretty cool. But since I it's am hardly soft, overrun yeah. with prospective buyers, I would be willing to take anything of equal value in exchange. That's very vague. That is extremely vague. Have this. Would you be interested in making a trade for this merchant? Hmm. A rabbit's foot. I do not believe I no. could use that. Oh, come on. You could use it. It's nice and soft. Trust me. Alexander knows well of its softness. He looks like the devil. This guy does. He kind of does. What would you little, take in exchange for the magic map? A little pointy goatee. Of great value and Slightly for reddish this map. tinge. Okay. What else have we got? What about a book? It's a very good read. Would you be interested in trading for this book? I am afraid not. Books are more my neighbor's line of work. After all, I would not want him selling curiosities. He wasn't even selling this book, he was giving it away. What about my ring? Would you be willing to take my family ring in exchange for the magic map? Daventry, are you a king then? A prince. No. That's my father, King Graham. I'm just Alexander. Well, Prince Alex, she is a beautiful ring. Are you sure you can part with such a unique family heirloom? The ring does mean a lot to me. I didn't always have a family, you know. Still, it is only gold. There are more important things at stake now. Then you now own a magic map, Prince Alex. Yay. I will keep your ring out of sight for a few days. If you Good. find anything else of great value in your travels, keep it secret, you can keep it come safe. back for your ring. I would hate to see it melted down for gold. Ah, and a warning about the map. It will only operate when you are out in the open and within sight of the sea. The limitation has something to do with the teleport spell ingredients. You might try the beach. Thank you. Thank you. You are very kind. And I'll remember about the map. I would hope so, otherwise it's useless to you. Is this guy gonna... He's gonna rob Suddenly, me. the old man in the concealing cloak sneaks past Alexander, and with a sneaky dart of his hand, steals a mint from the candy jar. You sneaky bastard. The oh, old that didn't man look very stuffs sneaky. the mint into his mouth and wobbles unsteadily out of the pawn shop. Did you see that man? 
Did you see that? He just stole a mint. You gonna do something about that? Seconds later, in the castle. Master, wow. I was a smurfling in the <coughs> village as you wished, and I saw a major. I don't know, a danger? No, 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 a stranger there. He, he says, oh, he's Prince Blab and Tander of Slavatry. Prince Blab and Tander. Yeah, I like the sound of that. Oh, okay, he's dead. You fool! You've been eating those mints <laughs> My again! My yeah. you to stop that! What was in the mints? Jesus. 100% alcohol. Give me one of those mints. Now, who did this stranger say he was? Prince Blastermaster. Prince of Pantantry. Oh, I... sorry. <laughs> Prince Salamander. You idiot! Are you trying to tell me that Prince Alexander of Daventry is here? Confound it! That's the young man Kasima met at Mordak's castle. The timing could not be worse. Who's this guy? Tell me, what is he doing? Who are you? He was in the pawn shop buying a magic <gasps> smap. A smap. Magic smap? What is this <laughs> magic smap? You don't know of the magic With smap? The smap? He can travel to other islands. Master. That's a map, you don't! No, it's a oh, smap. Drat it all! I thought I took care of the only means of travel. By my scimitar! I can't have him stirring things up! Not now! Get a hold of yourself and listen carefully, Shamir. Shamir, Go to the other islands and lay tell off the mints. Uh, hey, game terrorist. Welcome back. You came, came at the right time. Some interesting dialogue going on. Apparently we're King... No, Prince Blastermaster from Shmaventry. It's our new name. Skim <laughs> yeah, I don't know. By my scimitar. By the power of Grayskull. Okay. If we test this map out, or should we look around first? Probably save. That's probably a better idea. Schmap. See what is Schmap. How you been anyway, ga uh, Game Terrorist? I think I've seen you around for a little while, although I haven't been, haven't been streaming much lately. Oh my god, these screens are like impossible to... Or is it down? It's down, okay. Still, these screens are like super difficult. The save title. Well, I'm gonna call it a smap a schmap now. It's a much better name. Much better. Oh, where'd we go? Oh, there we are. Are those wolves? Wolf guards? I feel like those are wolves. Wolfmen. Two guards take their stance in front of the castle doors. They look quite fierce and have the stiff, blank expression of soldiers on formal duty. No, not going to mention that they're dogs. It's fine. It's just normal, apparently. What's in here? Changing room. What is this thing? There's a little hut just off the path. Perhaps the guard dogs have an occasional use for it, but it looks empty now. Wait, is it their toilet? Did I just walk in their toilet? God damn it, game. Could have warned me. Alexander firmly addresses the guard guards dogs, at the castle yeah. of the crown. <laughs> Literal guard dogs. To get an audience with Kasima. Good day, guard dogs. I am Prince Alexander of Daventry, and I would like oh, Prince Alexander of Daventry. He's the one, Wolf. <laughs> wolf. <laughs> See here now. We've been warned about you. Wizir Al Hazred has issued strict orders that you're not to be allowed anywhere near the castle. What did I do? This guy sounds like he's right out of a Looney Tunes ca cartoon. But I haven't even met the Wizir. Never mind your excuses. You're on our list of undesirables and will not be getting into the castle today or any day. No, no. up with you. Fine. Be like that. I'll find a way. 
and Prince Blaster Master of Schmaventry. Can't stop me. Is this vines? Looks like we could climb this actually. Vines have begun to climb the castle stucco walls. Break in exactly. It's exactly what we want to try and do. We can probably climb those vines, I would say. The narrow path ends abruptly at a pile of boulders. Okay, well, I guess we'll do that. Do some climbing. Don't fall the and die. Vines are too flimsy to support Alexander. No, we need them to grow more or something. Maybe we need to rub our lucky rabbit's foot. The long fur of the rabbit's foot is soft to the touch. Okay, now we're good. The vines nope. are too flimsy to support Alexander. Falcon punch the boulders. Good try it. Alexander has no need to carry around large rocks. I want to carry them. I want to punch them. Silly game. Okay, well, I guess we're finding another way in. Bloody dogs. I suppose they're just doing their job, though. Okay, did we have anywhere else we could go this way? I don't think we did. Oh, who's that guy? What was that? I want it. Alexander sorts through the odds and ends that the pawn shop owner dumped into the pot. Anything Magic good? Magic exploding gum wrappers, a shattered crystal ball, a cracked wand, a fake thumb. Fake hmm. thumb? Near the bottom, Alexander finds a little glass bottle labeled ink. It appears to be empty, but Alexander decides to take it anyway. You never know when a small bottle will come in handy. It's very true. Very true. Okay. Can we go this way? Probably not. Bribe them with a pie. If only we had a pie. Maybe we can get a pie in this game as well. I hope so. Gotta love them pies. Okay, so this just went to the ship, I think. The weird merman. Who we're going to avoid. So I guess we have to use the map down at the beach. Give it a go. Oh, sorry, game terrorist. I missed your message there. You're doing fine. That is good to hear. Very good to hear. Um, I can't remember if you tuned in for King's Quest V or not. But I might require some more assistance in this one. We'll see how we go. Um, if I end up getting stuck, uh, you guys are welcome to kind of give me hints. I prefer not to get any spoilers, but if you've got like ideas on what we could do, or if you know what to do and want to give me hints, I am I'm open to that if we get stuck somewhere. The magic map is made of thin leather. And has lifeline Make everything drawings worse. of the islands on its uneven surface. Well, you were right about the the merman. He was he was danger, and I should have listened. So, Alexander pulls out his magic map. What do we got? Isle of the Sacred Mountain, Isle of Wonder, Isle of the Crown, Isle of the Beast. Wait a minute! Didn't that guy say that there was like? A fabled fourth island, but there's already four islands here. What is that guy on about? What is he on about? Never played this, so your guesses are my guesses. Yeah, well, that's all good. If you have any ideas, though, if we get stuck somewhere, just shout them out and I'll try them. Anything could work in these games. There's some pretty obscure solutions, so. Always happy to join in and bring up crazy ideas. Yes, crazy ideas are usually the best ideas I find in these games. They tend to work. Like the last game, we used a custard pie to defeat a yeti, which you'd probably not expect. Let's go to Wonder Island. All right, let's do it. Alexander feels a strange pulling sensation. Oh God, is it the ocean again? Is it back? No, no, it's just the teleportation. Whoa. Fancy. The hell is that a bed? Are those tiny beds? 
Those look like tiny beds. One of the oysters is sitting up in bed and doesn't look very happy. He seems to be the only one who can't sleep. Mm. In the Why are they on beds? Alexander can see a glint of white. It's got a pearl. I've got to get it. Let's have a chat. Why aren't you asleep like the other oysters? Oh, I'm so weary, but I can't sleep. I have a terrible ache in my mouth. It's a pearl. Let me get it out for you. Why don't you let me see if I can help? No way! No one's looking in my mouth. I hate dentists. I'm not a dentist. I'm a prince. Why don't you let... No way! Okay, that's not going to work. Um, have a... Have this. That won't do anything for the little oyster. Damn it. Damn it. What about a book? Oh, There's the no book, book, actually. Because the book almost put me put me to sleep before. If you're having trouble sleeping, perhaps you'd like me to read to you. Hey, that would be great! Go to sleep, little Two oyster. dulcimers raised to the degree of 40 half dulcimers, divided into equal parts by the third of a cackle of grouse geese. This is some thrilling the reading. The result of ten fine mackles, albeit small fine mackles, Stretched over the total of fifty-three and an eighth bottles of wild. What is the wiggly blood. pink thing? I don't know. Maybe some mm. form of an eel. I was looking at that before, actually. Yields a gilded minnow of precise Oh god, he's still going. Two thousand sixty-nine centadrills by three million twenty-three and six sevenths puns, not punts. Don't as drink the water. Expected. We this don't know what's been in there. Say, however, in any sense whatsoever. It's blood. That deviations in mean it's temperature pink blood. five or six dregs or so. Mermaid blood. Mm. Oh, are we supposed to grab the. Oh, we supposed to grab the pearl. Indicate a fabrication I see. or I see derivation what's going on. sufficiently broad enough to exacerbate the conclusions uncovered in due course with regards to the dimensions, right, consistency, mass, or thickness be quick. inherent in the menial suckling grouse. Get it. Alexander makes a grab for the pearl. Don't lose your hand, Alexander. Ooh. Very hey, swift. You fixed my mouth! It feels great! I... I... See, I told you. Aw, the little oyster drifts into peaceful slumber with the rest oh, of his cute. oyster friends. Sweet dreams, oyster. Thanks for the pearl. The flawless pearl is the largest Alexander's ever seen. Thank you very much. That was pretty much a... well, it wasn't really a fluke. We read this book earlier and almost fell asleep, so I guess it was kind of obvious that that was what to do. Let's save this real quick. You never know when you could die. Might get your ring... yeah, actually we might be able to, might be able to trade our ring. Let's just check out this weird squiggly thing though. A string of letters floats in the water. Uh, string of letters. The letters spell out where are you going? Alexander's heard of alphabet soup, but this is ridiculous. <laughs> what? Can we take the letters? Alexander doesn't want... I want the letters. Alexander picks up the object floating in the water. It appears to be a string of letters. They say, where are you going? Alexander that is weird. decides to keep the odd sentence, even though it is incomplete. Suspicious, yes. Very suspicious. Where? Where? Alexander is carrying... He's carrying a sentence. That makes perfect sense. I have no clue what that would be for. Okay, well, let's keep going. We don't go in the water, though, because we die. Alexander hears someone coming. Hide. Quit. Get behind the rock. Oh, no. Who is it? Rabbit? Is that a rabbit? A pig. I fear scars of the eye Oh my god. For a foreign man, said he. With ears and nose, tongue, hands, and eyes, its nature cannot be disguised. If man it be, then man it dies. Oh my god. Old Tom Troll, smell your smell. Do that which you do so well. What is going on right now? A gnome with a huge nose stands before Alexander. God, I'm afraid. I think we need to re rub out. The long fur of the rabbit's foot is soft to the touch. Um, 
we can only look, apparently. Are we supposed to give him something to smell? I have some ink. Alexander pours the contents of the empty looking ink bottle over himself. What? That's not what I wanted to do. Whoa, he's invisible. My nose cannot be tricked that way. The smell of man still rules the day. Are they gonna eat me? A man, a man so sad nose into the way the sea goes. Not the sea. Oh god, it's the sea again. You guys, come on. What did I do ever do to you? Damn it. Gonna the gnomes toss the Alexander too again. far out into the sea for him to get his footing. The currents drag him under. See you later, Alexander. Nice knowing you. Take your time. It's all good. Tickets out. Tickets Next. only. Guess I those ticket, gnomes then. couldn't reach a consensus. <laughs> oh my god. Game, seriously. Alright, well. I guess we don't go up the beach. I'm assuming we've got to find something to trick each of those gnomes. But I don't know what. Can we go this way? Will they appear if we go this way too? Alexander hears oh some god. Quick, reload. We don't want to see that again, that was terrifying. Alexander pulls out his magic map. We have something stinky. That could work. Oh, I didn't get the oops. Can I get out of here? I didn't get the letters. Alexander doesn't want No, oh, I want the letters. Alexander picks up the object floating in the water. Alexander Thank you. Okay. I'll just save over that one. And we'll get out of here. Alexander pulls out his magic map. Well, those freaky gnomes return. Okay, so Isle of Wonder was very wondrous in the wrong way. So what's next? We could go Isle of Sacred Mountain or we could go Isle of the Beast. Isle of, Isle of the Beast doesn't sound like somewhere I want to visit. Considering Isle of Wonder sounded kind of good. And was terrifying. I feel like Isle of the Beast could be bad. Although Isle of the Beast could be good. Could be a trick. Beast? Okay, we'll go Beast then. Alexander feels I'm a, a little worried about this sensation. Beast Island, but we'll see what happens. Into the magic hole. Okay, cool. Got any words in the water this time? No alphabet soup. The water seems tranquil at the moment, but a dimpling pattern on the surface indicates a strong undertow. Yeah, we don't trust that undertow. Tall, narrow trees abound on each side of the path. Cool. Nearby, the stump of a fallen tree still spreads its roots Pia to Yeti the sea. Again. We could get to Pia Yeti. We will see. If the tree stump is hiding anything, it's only local fauna. There's no need to disturb some creature's nest. Mm, you're right. They might murder me. We don't want that. Ooh, the bunny. I want the bunny. A rabbit hops about rather fearlessly. It's probably never even seen a human. That means we can catch it. Alexander would look pretty silly diving for that rabbit. There's no way he could catch it with his hands. Maybe we can, like, intimidate it with our rabbit foot and be like... This is what happens to rabbits. Don't come with me. Alexander doesn't want to do anything to disturb the local wildlife. Okay, never mind then. Never mind, can we get some mushrooms? Alexander, not being an expert on poisonous mushrooms, decides not to take a chance on tasting the local variety. It's probably a wise move. This does not look good. The dense... Oops. A pond lies across the path. The water boils as if over some magical flame. Hmm. Hmm. Maybe we can't get past here. Or maybe. What is that? Oh, is that hanging down? An old abandoned hunter's lamp is hanging on one of the trees. 
Alexander wonders who might have hunted in these dense woods. I want the lamp. Got to get the lamp. Let me reach it. To get to the lamp, Alexander must first cross the pond. Ah, I see. Well, I think if we just rub our rabbit's foot, Alexander rubs the soft fur we'll of the be rabbit's fine. foot and hopes for a little luck. We'll be fine. Alexander decides to brave the boiling pond. And soon oh, realizes nice. a deep sympathy for soup vegetables as he learns the true <laughs> meaning of being in a stew. Oh, back to the skeletons. Tickets! Oh! Yeah. It looks like he's got like a sock puppet on his hand. It looks like Alexander's in a bit of a stew. Uh, hilarious. Okay. I guess we can't do much there at the moment. I wonder if we could use anything to get across. Probably not. I'm gonna guess not. We'll try a different island. Alexander pulls out his magic map. Beast Island was no good. Everything is edible once. We could. Uh, we don't have like a mouth icon. In some of the Sierra games, you get like a mouth icon. We could have tried to taste the mushrooms. I'm sure it wouldn't have ended well though. Okay, well, off to Alexander Sacred feels a Mountain strange Island. pulling sensation. Shazam. So much going on on these islands, I've got to say. We got a flower, we got a feather, and we got some inscriptions. There's an ugly flower growing near the base of the cliff. It's not very nice, Alex. Looks all right to me. Alexander picks the flower and is startled by its Ooh, hideous and strong skunk-like odor. For a moment, he can smell nothing else. That's what we need to get past those weird-ass dwarves, gnomes, or whatever they were. Lots of things. There is lots of things, but there's not much, not much exploring to do. I got to say, it's a pretty, pretty boring island. What is this? Alexander notices an unusually large coal black feather lying on the beach. Get it. You know the rules, Alex. Get everything. Alexander takes the feather. Good boy. What is it? Alexander is carrying an unusually large black feather. I guess it's kind of big. It's not like unusually big. Colors of flame burst from the center of the incredibly stinky flower and drip onto its petals. The flower's appearance is as flamboyant as its smell. Flower's appearance is as flamboyant as its smell. Okay. It's kind of weird, but all right. There appears to be something etched into the face of the cliff. Alexander decides to get closer. Do it. Read it. Ignorance. Kills wisdom, elevates. I see. Ignorance kills wisdom, elevates. The rock has been etched by some unknown hand. One may need to read about the logic cliffs in the guidebook to the land of the Green Isles in order to understand this mystical inscription. Oh, is this going to be copyright stuff? Let me just have a look at the manual real quick. This might be copyright stuff. Um, where did I save that? Somewhere. Here we go. What's it say? Ah, oh, okay, I see. I think. There's like some random symbols on here. And they've got like... So this one says, symbol represents wisdom. So I'm guessing we're looking for a symbol that's like ignorance? Foolishness? Could be it. Maybe. I guess we could read the passage about Isle of the Sacred Mountain. What have we got? Isle of the Sacred Mountain, on first impression, appears to be nothing but a great wall of cliffs, rising to the sky with no apparent means of scaling it. The visitor is soon met, however, by a pair of greeters of the Winged Ones race. Okay, that hasn't happened yet. The Winged Ones are the inhabitants of the Isle of the Sacred Mountain. Towering to a height of six to seven feet, 
the winged ones are by far the most impressive creatures I have ever seen. Each one of them, male and female alike, is surpassingly beautiful. Their bodies are muscled and athletic and gleaming with health. From their broad backs, uh, from their wait, what? Uh, from their broad backs, mighty wings emerge like secondary limbs, strong and webbed, and covered with large white feathers. And when they spread those massive wings, oh, it is as if the sun itself is eclipsed. Two of these creatures, the greeters, meet visitors at the base of the cliffs, and so I was met. Gently they took my arms and flew me upwards. Has there been a man who has not dreamed of flying? Are we all not Icarus in our heart of hearts? Imagine then the thrill of that flight and the glory of the beings who rule the very air around us. But as the old saw warns, beauty is only skin deep. I was flown to the winged one's stra city, a strange and haunting place whose architecture combines the two overriding elements of this culture, aviation and the classical. The city seems built to exclude those poor creatures whose lot it is to crawl like insects upon the ground, for each edifice towers into the sky with no connection to the next or, the, or to the ground itself save by flight. Uh, thus completely dependent on the greeters to travel about the city or even leave. The visitor is humbled and loath to do much exploration. This appeared to me to be rather the intention, for the culture of the winged ones is a private one. On the Isle of Wonder, I always felt welcome. Yeah, I can't agree with that. Uh, despite the sometimes gruff nature of the inhabitants, they had a certain simplicity and honesty about them. By contrast, although my reception with the winged ones was on the surface, extremely polite, the formal words of welcome did not ring true. I sensed in the eyes of that beauteous race a disdain of common humanity, a haughtiness that made them suddenly lose some of their golden perfection in the eyes of this humble observer. Despite this innate sense of superiority, the winged ones are valuable members of the kingdom and provide many important skills. Incredibly intelligent, the winged ones are master logis log logicians? Logic how do you even say that word? I know what it means, but logicians? Logicians and mathemat mathematicians? Precise architects and planners. They disdain magic and the daintier arts, being far too logical for such goings on. Even the palace of the winged ones, city, has a sparseness. A sense of functionality that denotes their contempt for artistic orn ornamentation. The winged ones culture is an old one, and they make frequent references to the ancient ones. God, it's going to be Cthulhu. Uh, their forefathers, who ruins and great works still abound on the island. The Isle of the Sacred Mountain is ruled by a lord and lady, who exist as monarchs on their own island, but owe allegiance to the common crown. The name of the island derives from a lone peak which soars into the clouds beyond the city. There in a cave dwells the sacred oracle, the phil philosophical head of the community. It is said that the oracle is centuries old, ultimately wise, and can read the future. She is consulted by the lord and lady on every facet of the city's life, and even advises the king and queen. I, of course, did not meet the oracle, and even most wing ones citizens regard her as almost a myth the greatest honor any winged one's citizen might hope for the hope for in his or her long life is to be granted a meeting with the oracle for her cave is a place reserved for only the most worthy souls like many lofty ambitions most of the winged ones never achieve this end I found myself fascinated by the ancient ones for it was the only deep history apparent in the kingdom from what I managed to learn from the close mouth winged ones themselves, and from the more readily available information to me to be found in the writings and from scholars on the Isle of the Crown, I put together the following picture of this bygone race. I include it among these records of the kingdom, for they are as much a presence in the land as the current inhabitants. Good to know. I don't see no picture though. What are you talking about? Oh, okay, so we can click these. Let's see. 
okay, that doesn't really help. Unless I've got to just pick the letters. So, okay, so let's say that it is foolishness. So that's V. So we probably need to click a V. There is a V in here. And elevates. Um, kills. We don't have kills. We've got. What have we got? We've got rage, which is kind. I guess kind of close. Um, grief. I don't know if grief. I guess it kind of ties into it. Um, there's not really anything that like relates to kills. We've got wisdom. Wisdom's definitely here. Wisdom is K. Maybe we'll just click K and V. We've got a W though, which I don't know if W was anything. W is familial love, which is not on here at all. Um, elevates, have we got elevates? We do not have elevates. Would be elevates. Mm, maybe joy? Is an O? Maybe? I don't know. Let's click everything. That's my plan. What happened? The granite clips can. There appears to be. Okay, so we have to do something here. What are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? We gotta figure it out. Click rise. How many letters can you press? Um. How many can we? Okay. We'll see how many we can press first. What's that? Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. We can click a lot, but maybe that's just because nothing happens. I'm doing it wrong. You reckon rise could be the one? Might not be able to solve it with our current alphabet. Actually, I did see something about rise in here. It said, um, what have we got? Following translations from the cliffs of logic scroll may help the reader understand the mystique that surrounds this artifact. First challenge. Only those pure of heart will be able to rise the cliffs of logic. Ah, okay, so maybe it is a rise. Let's try that. There appears to be some. Go. Do it. No? Nothing happened. No. There appears to be. Maybe we need to click different ones. We've only got one R. We've got a lot of eyes to choose from, though. We've got a lot of E's as well. Maybe like that E? Huge blocks oh, of stone worked. erupt from the granite up. cliffs. Oh my lord. I misclicked. Oh really? Okay, well that's probably why it didn't work. Alexander stares with wonder. That's quite a way to welcome a guest, if indeed it is a welcome. It doesn't really help me. I thought I was supposed to get lifted up by some, like, bird people. Oh god, not stairs. Stairs are like our worst enemy. Feel smart. Yeah, see, you said, and, and you said you wouldn't be able to help. Done well. Don't die, please. I'm, like, worried that it's making me click each one of these. I feel like something bad's gonna happen. Oh my god. Okay, it looks like we're gonna need to do another clue here. Alright, what have we got? Alexander examines the strange etchings in the face of the cliff. Oh my good Jesus. A master of languages will. Okay, what does it say here? Uh, first challenge. Doesn't say anything about the second challenge. So I guess we just need to translate this. Where yeah, are those symbols? This could take a while. Okay. What do we got? Got like four prong kind of things. Where is that on here? There's an F. We have got got this weird looking thing, it's like a two with a line under it, and where's that? 
Don't see it. Oh, there it is. L. It is an L. Um, this one here, like a plus kind of thing, I think is a V, maybe. I'm going to guess it's a V. Uh, what's this one? Like a... No idea what that is. What is that one? That one is A, X. This isn't actually going to spell anything, is it? Doesn't seem like it. W and a M. Okay, well maybe I need to read something else here. Master of Languages will. Or is that what does it say? It says only those pure of heart will be able to rise. Um is there anything about Master of Languages? And we'll be able to read? Maybe it's we'll be able to read. I don't know. I'm trying to find something in here that references Master of Languages. But I don't see nothing. Yeah, maybe it is read. We'll try that. What have we got? Where's our symbols? Um, have we got an R in here somewhere? Let me just move this so I can... Alright, have we got an R? This here is an R, I think. Master of Languages will read, Master of Languages will know. Yeah, it's probably something like that. We'll try the read one first. So R, E... This one, I think. A. D. Where's D? Is that it? Go. Do something. Nothing happens. Damn it. Okay, well, at least we didn't die. Alexander examines. Okay, we'll try no. Mm K. N O W Where's W? Nothing happens. Darn it. Alexander Um I'm gonna try rise because the first one was rise. It's probably not rise, but I don't really have many other ideas. If there's an I then I... I think so. S. Where's S? Where is S? That. Oh, so. And E. Nothing happens. No. Alexander. Okay. What else could it be? Where's this? Where's this manual gone? What else could it be? Master of Knowledge. Is there a knowledge? There's a symbol for knowledge. Was well, a symbol for wisdom? Master of oh, sorry, it's languages. That's what we're looking for. There's not a symbol for languages. Hmm. Okay. Well, let's just read through this. One of the most intriguing artifacts left by the ancient ones are the logic cliffs. The cliffs are so named from a series of riddles written on the face of the cliffs leading from the beach of the Isle of the Sacred Mountain to the Winged One City. Chiseled painstakingly into solid rock, the viewer must question what purpose the words serve. From the ancient scroll that references the cliffs, it can be determined that the riddles on the cliff were part of an elaborate mechanism designed to protect those who dwell at the top of the cliffs from undesirables that might arrive from the sea below. The mechanism may have served as some sort of calling device designed to alert those at the top of the cliffs that a brother required ad admittance, or perhaps led to secret chambers within the rock itself. 
Whatever the cliff's purpose was, it was obviously built to admit only those indoctrinated into the secrets of the Ancient One's culture, and for that reason is, alas, as yet unsolved by those who live today. Following translations from the cliffs of Logic Scroll may help the reader understand the mystique that surrounds this artifact. So it's got the first challenge, only those pure of heart will be able to rise, the cliffs of Logic, which is the one we solved. But then it doesn't mention the second challenge, it just jumps to the third. It's the Stones of Stealth. Um, okay, fifth, fifth challenge. Catacombs. Master, oh, here we go. This is like way up in the text about the Ancient Ones. It says, the Ancient Ones were believers in the power of language. They were fond of saying, a master of languages will soar. Presumably, presumably refers to the intellectual heights rather than physical ones. Okay, cool. So, what have we got? Where's S? Mm, that one? S O. Where's O? A. R. 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 The stone beneath uh -huh. Alexander's feet trembles as more steps emerge from the granite cliffs. Not more steps. A one weakness. That and water, apparently. The steps Sweet. cannot be moved. I don't want to move them. I want to walk on them. Don't die, please. Yay! And what the hell is that? It doesn't look like text. It's like buttons. Okay, what have we got? Alexander examines the strange etchings in the face of the cliff. It is some squircles. What does it say about the third one? A third challenge. The stones of stealth are associated with this riddle. All men standing in a row, third from the left, and down you go. The rest in order move you on. The youngest, the oldest, and the second son. Okay. Press him. Yes, we need to press him, but the order is important, I believe. I was gonna, oh, I can't save it here. Okay. Nothing happens. Let's just save here. Alexander. Okay, so it says a third from the left, and down you go. So I'm assuming if we push that, we're going to fall. So we're not going to push that one. The rest in order move you on. The youngest, the oldest, and the second son. So maybe that's like the youngest, the oldest, the second son. Maybe. I don't know. Try it. Don't kill me, please. Go. Nothing happens. Hmm. Alexander. The rest in order moves you on. Okay, well, maybe just that? Nothing happens. No? Alexander. Third from the left and down you go. Maybe we have to push all of them. Youngest, oldest, second, and then that one. Alexander gets the feeling that was the wrong button. Uh oh. Is he gonna Oops. scream like what's his name? <laughs> no, he's not gonna have a terrifying scream. See you later. Tickets. Oh. Maybe youngest is all the way to Next. the right. What a riddle. Possibly. Stones of stealth. Find a guide to keep your health. Thanks, game. Don't worry, we've already found a guide. Didn't help me much, though. Um, yeah, you might be right. Maybe it is... Alexander. Maybe that's the youngest, and that's the oldest. Okay, we'll try that. So, youngest, oldest, and second. The stone beneath Alexander's yes. feet trembles Very good. as more steps emerge from the granite cliffs. Never press the third, no. Stay away from the third button. It's bad news. Okay, so it seems like we've still got, like, at least two more riddles. This one we don't have a clue for, though. So I guess it's going to be similar to the th second one. Let's have a look. Let's have a 
have a save first. Alexander examines the strange etchings in the face of the cliff. What's the say? Sacred Four. Sacred Four. What is the Sacred Four? Am I going to have to do like a lot of reading again? Probably. So this is just the alphabet again, right? So I guess we have to push four buttons. Um, what have we got? Anything about Sacred Four? Catacombs. Uh, how the burial chambers of the ancient ones and are said to be designed as a giant labyrinth to protect their tombs from looters. It's got anything about ancient four on it? Maybe that's where they were buried. Oh, hold on. What is this? Uh, ancient ones gave meaning to every creature, every color. In addition, they studied the emotional states of being. Every emotion, like every creature, color, and element, ranked high or low on their theological scale. Lowest being base or primitive, highest being pure. At the top of the scale were the sacred four. The emotion, tranquility, the color, azure, the creature, caterpillar, the element, air. Oh, okay, so you were kind of right there, Zilks, about air. Wind, air, kind of the same thing. What's the name of the four islands? Yeah, I thought it might have been that, because we've got, we've got um, Isle of Beast, Isle of Crown, Isle of Wonder, and Isle of Sacred Mountain, but there wasn't really anything that related to those. But it seems like we've got it here. So we've got uh, Tranquility, Azure, Caterpillar, Air, these. So Tranquility is D, so we got D. Then we need Azure as a color. Is this Azure? Where are you? Show yourself. Don't see it anywhere. What the hell? It's all a lie. Oh, no, there it is. It is an O. Um, and then we've got uh, caterpillar and then ear. So caterpillar is Q. And ear is. Where is ear? Where are you, ear? G. G is that one, I think. The stone beneath oh, Alexander's feet it. trembles as more steps emerge. Oh, hey, level down. Cliffs. Level down, sorry. How goes the sixth quest of the kings? It's going pretty good. Solving some, some copyright riddles at the moment. I'm getting through them. It's giving us our one true weakness, the stairs, as a reward, which is not the best reward. Okay, so we should have one final riddle. It makes us walk up every one of these steps. It's good like that. Okay, save the game. Save the game, look at the clue. Alexander examines the strange etchings in the face of the cliff. What is it this time, Alex? All silent, cry the noble boulders. It's very deep. The fifth challenge. Only those of the highest order may ascend the cliffs of logic. Okay, so that must be ascend. So we'll go get my pointy finger out. A S C. I guess it doesn't matter which ones we do. So we could go E N. The stone beneath Alexander's oh. feet trembles as more steps emerge from the granite cliffs. Hopefully that's the last of the stairs. We had a lot of stairs to deal with. Yep, we got it. We did it. Hopefully that's the last of the copyright. There seems to be a couple more pages here in this manual though, so I'm going to guess it will, it will return at some point. So I'll probably just keep that open. Just in case. Who's this guy? Some Alexander snazzy purple pants. Himself. Finally, at the top of the cliffs. Exhausted, he steps over the lip of the plateau and stands. Standing is a good idea. 
Why do you make such an effort to climb the cliffs, young man? The winged ones who live on this island have the power of flight. Well, I obviously don't, do I? You could have it too, if you'd only eat a berry from this magical flying nightshade bush. Oh yeah, sure, that sounds legit. Oh, okay, it is. Sorry, sorry I doubted you. You're trying to See? poison me. The sweet berries will make you float like a petal on the wind. Try some. I still don't know if I trust you. And your weird ass berries. The old woman has a pleasant grandmotherly face, but something about her makes Alexander uneasy. Mm. Me too, game. Me too. Stranger yeah, all right, we'll try them. Calm down. Think of what I'm try someone you. coming to my van. I don't see a van, so we might be safe. I'll do it. Don't you worry. I'll try these damn berries. All right. I'll try some of your berries. I'll try some of your oh, berries. Goody. Eat quickly, dear boy, and I'll show you the way to the lord and lady of this isle. I'd be surprised if she's like... Legit. Yeah, she's not legit. <laughs> Slightly bitter, pretty one. Mm, back to the skeletons. Zounds. <laughs> Hello, Kaiju Queen. How are you doing tonight? And then there's some land Welcome to I the have stream. for sale on the death bogs of Tamir. There's some land I have for sale. Yes, I'm a Nigerian prince and I need you to help me move my fortunes. Okay. Come, Don't eat stranger. the berries. That's my advice. Trust me think of what i'm offering you i don't trust you at all keep your berries to yourself maybe we can no we can't pick them up can we okay i don't trust you alex you're, an old you're dodgy but who are you matron who cares uh, I, I mean i am only a poor old woman who wishes you well, handsome stranger. Think of me as your grandmama, if you like. My grandmama never gave me weird berries. Eat them again, it can't happen twice after all. Mm, I don't know. I don't know. I don't trust oh, her. Right then. Stay tied to the ground like I think a all the berries are bad. See if I care. You, 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 human. Whoa. You take that back. How odd. Oh, she disappeared, disappeared like that naked kid. Of smoke. She wasn't really naked, but... Are even more powerful than she led Alexander to believe. Don't eat them, man. Have you not learned your lesson? Not a big fan of my grand... grand you're not a f big fan of your grandmama? Well, that's alright. She's gone anyway, she disappeared. We had like a weird kid earlier that did the same thing. And he tried to lure us into the sea. So I don't trust these people at all. I don't trust anyone now. Huge doors are set into the solid rock of the mountain. Open it. The Come huge on, man. doors are locked tight. Damn it. Somebody obviously wants to keep something out or something in. It's the mermen. They're in there. Squash them into a small bottle. We could try it. Wait. Did I get it? Oh, it was this bottle, right? This bottle's actually got, like, disappearing... Well, I guess you could call it, like, invisibility ink. It made us invisible. But we could try it. There's no reason to use that on the berries. Oh. Turns out the doors are actually push, not pull. It could be the case. I'm trying to think if we've got anything to pry them open. We don't really. Maybe our rabbit's foot. There's no reason to use that on the closed doors. Always a reason. This is an adventure game. What are you talking about? I'm not trapped in here with you. You're trapped in here with me. <laughs> Maybe we don't want to open those doors after all. Look, an intruder. Hold. I'm not an intruder. How did you get up here, human? I, I ate the berries. Climbed the cliffs. That is not possible. No one has solved the cliffs of logic in several centuries. And if the cliffs were to be solved, 
It would certainly not be by a human. I, I'm I offended didn't mean by that. To trespass. I only wanted to visit this beautiful island. I only no wanted visitors the berries. have been welcome on the Isle of the Sacred Mountain in years. Not since the Red and White Queens had spies in the guise of friendly visitors steal our island's sacred golden fleece. But we will not display such a like the Red Queen again. from you will have Alice in Wonderland? The Lord Azure and Lady Ariel. They will determine what will be done too. with you. The I little can assure you, it will not be pleasant. God. Gonna be in trouble. Uh, are we coming back? Oh, no, we're up there. I see. With what trickery did you master the Cliffs of Logic and reach the city of the Winged Ones? With my brains. Only the magic of clear thought, my lord. Exactly. I meant no harm. The Cliffs of Logic. It is the sacred oracle's prophecy, Azure. Guys, those riddles weren't that yes, hard. Ariel. Like, seriously. Hmm. It is lucky for you, human, that climbing the Cliffs of Logic is part of a prophecy that I cannot ignore. Very lucky. Must have been my rabbit's foot. have just been ordered by Wazir Al-Hazred himself to dispose of any strangers that might land on our fair isle. But the prophecy would have a different fate befall you. The prophecy predicts that whosoever climbs the Cliffs of Logic will defeat the Minotaur. Turns out we've gone through the Lucky Glass. The Minotaur we have has violated our sacred Minotaur. catacombs oh and eats our young in sacrifice. Jesus, our it doesn't sound very daughter, nice. Our Lady Celeste, was taken there only this morning as his most recently demanded offering. Funny door, they all just climb. Yeah, that's a good point, actually. They don't even need I doors. obey in regards to your fate, the Oracle or the Crown? But since Al Hazred did not dictate how I was to dispose of intruders, and since you cannot possibly survive the catacombs, your imprisonment there should serve both purposes quite admirably. Ah, so this is a loophole. I huh? will not resist you in this, my lord. I shall it's time do to fall asleep. Good luck. Yes, thanks daughter. for dropping in, Zilks. Good to see you again. First, Sleep I must well. tell you that the catacombs are a labyrinth of rooms. Always a place good to of see you. Exceeding danger. Thanks for your help you with the riddles. You will many tools and clear wits to Might survive. Might have been stuck it. on that cliff forever, forever otherwise. Azure, he must be allowed time to prepare for the task. If only in the slight chance that he could actually save our Celeste. I can save her. Oh, Don't doubt very me. Well. Intruder, my guards will take you to the beach. Prophesied hero or spy, any soldier must be granted time to prepare for battle. Be Thanks, warned. guys. If you have the courage to actually return to the Isle of the Sacred Mountain and face your destiny, my guards will have orders to take you to the catacombs on sight. Oh, dear. Oh, I dear. understand, Lord Azure. If by some miracle you succeed, human, the prophecy grants you a visit with the Sacred Oracle. Her powers are mighty, her vision all seeing. Sounds like a good deal. Many of our kind own of. citizens would be willing to risk certain death in the catacombs for a chance at a meeting with the Oracle. May that thought give you the courage to return. I'll return. Oh, Don't I you will worry. Return, Lady Ariel. You have my word. And my axe. <laughs> yes, this gate is kind of pointless if they just fly over everything. Just fly a little faster, please. Thank you. All that bloody effort, and now I'm all the way back down here. Okay, well, I guess we've got to prepare before we deal with that Minotaur, but I have no idea what we'd need 